So many old steamboats and motor cars They're flocking here from all around Just to eat that gumbo down While Grandpa sits and plays his old guitar One day in walked a gentleman of fame Hello Professor Elemental was his name He said, hello my lovely dear I've come to taste your gumbo here And after that he never was the same Oh good lord Inside were ignited in fright to a crisp like the kiss of a stranger arrived on my lips. I started jiving my thighs to my hip. I feel ten years younger. This incredible tipple gave me x ray vision and an extra nipple. So come where some know, fun to make your tongue glow. Something funny for your tummy, loads of lovely gumbo. Give yourself a helping of that gumbo from the pot. It's good for all that ails you and you're sure to hit the spot. Oh, yeah. It's full of all those secret things you're only finding. Secret things you'll only find in New Orleans. So hurry up and get it while it's high. That is some mighty fine gumbo right there. Well, hello, hello, good Kaleido Kin. Congratulations on being first, Envy. Still keeping the streak going, I see. And Dildo, I'm sorry. But maybe you should just set aside whatever else you had. And make some more time for me, you know? Wait, what is... Hold on. Sorry. Okay. There's like a weird... piece of dog fur on my lamp and it looked weird. I, I didn't know what it was. Anyway. Um... I frog you with yet another account. Early Stardust. I will still call you Froggy no matter how many aliases you now go by. So, let me make sure everything is fine. See, one issue, one thing I don't enjoy about when you, when I take breaks from streaming, is I don't know if anyone else has that issue, but it feels like my computer doesn't get used. It, it's like not used to being a streaming computer anymore. So like right now, Streamlabs is taking, it's like buffering it's very um slow like everything's framey like the monitor for my audio it's just it's just not working it has, it's like my computer has to get used to being streaming things again you changed it because you were gonna start streaming but your headphones broke time to get those fixed then huh anyway it's a horror game apparently i doubt it'll be very scary because i have to get played it multiple times over He's actually the reason I'm playing this, because he bought this game for me and then kept on asking me to play it. I'm hoping he isn't sleeping right now, but I'm sure he'll pop in eventually. Anyways, flickering images, uh, motion sickness, so... I'm not disabling them. If you have issues, then just, like, close your eyes, I'll let you know when you can open them. I'll watch this while you play Roblox. I'm happy to be background noise. Here, let me turn off my light. This is apparently a horror game, we gotta get in the mood. Going out to get, he probably won't be up until like 10. This guy told me that he takes a nap from like 2 to 4 EST. I'm pretty sure it's past 2 to 4 EST. Anyways, whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings, there are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings. This is a love story. Oh no. Am I keeping this lady prisoner in my basement and then I love her? Oh no. I see why I have to get likes it so much. 
It's just work at night and be You're on a path safe. in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. We have a narrator? What am I supposed to do then? I'm just gonna sit in here? Like. You're I don't here think he has to work slay her. Tonight. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Notice how the, the little point, the cursor has a fang, like a claw. The end of the world? What are you talking about? I'm concerned that the only reason she's gonna become the end of the world is because she's locked up. The only princess seems kinda of bad though. Forget it. Can someone else do it? Have you considered maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Do I get some sort of reward? Oh, uh, do sweet. I've always wanted to offer Monarch. Viva la revolution. Honzilla! Yeah, I am. I'm back and I got the milk. Hmm. I want to know what what this I'm guy's talking, talking about, about the with the end of the world. Of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. We have to put an end to her. Yeah! We're sub back in like two to three months. And TTS is still not working. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, here, uh, let's freaking go, Carol Stream. I don't feel like doing voices. By the way, my bird's here. No more birds. No more, like, no more Nando. No more people. No more us. No more kinship. Okay. Uh, how could she? Ev evidence. Shut up with this stupid option. The only reason she's gonna do that is because she's locked up. I want information. I don't want to argue or debate. Doctor, she's bad. Then maybe I'll say it. Nah. Okay. Let's ask. Don't how. linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. But I need information. I don't want to just like jump in head first. Come on. <laughs> I want evidence, You're already I guess. on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you? Is he just going to argue with me? to complete a very important task. You've made it this far. You might as well reach the end of your journey. I don't even remember embarking on this in this journey in the first place. Um. Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. Any reward? No reward? Does it? Are you a monarchist? Is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses contribute something of value to society. Oh no, Princess Diana didn't like that was kinda rough, you know? Yeah, I'll just Okay. It's What's my a secret, but I think you'll like it. A secret, it's a special okay. reward, just for you. And whatever you think it might be. I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. I highly doubt that. Okay. I guess I'll say I'll go to the cabin and if I'll talk to her and if she's as bad as you say she is then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not coming into anything until I've had the chance to meet her face to face. I guess we'll just have to see what happens. But a word of warning. If you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. It'll be easier to pull myself out if you tell me more information each and every first one of us is doomed. Discord notification jump scare, yeah. So sure. How bad if I go tricked you? Talk to her. See how that turns out that for was all mine. Us. 
I don't know what it was from though. Okay. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not going to go oh through boy. with this, right? She's a princess. Oh, me. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Wait, what? Who am I? Hello, Mr. Narrator. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Oh, it's almost as though someone was just leaving everything set up perfectly for me. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save yeah, the world I got without teeth. it. I got teeth. I could, I could use it at it. I can make do. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. But I never got to hear. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Wait, is death after her? Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Uh, sound robotic. You walk down the stairs. That is not how I expected her to sound. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. What happened to the other chain? She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or face. something? Uh. No. No. Uh. uh I haven't decided How yet. You drop the knife, and the two of us just talk. Um. Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. This guy's easily convinced. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Wait, what do you mean this dream's no audio? Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a... <laughs> what a welcoming party. Thank you, Chop Chop. Can we get five thumbs up for Chop Chop? Can we get ten thumbs? How many people? You have four viewers in here? That's eight thumbs up right now. Including myself, ten thumbs up. Thank you. This is a big Chop Chop W. Is it only Envy that's having an issue? It could be his muted stream tab or... Um... Maybe his entire computer is muted. Weird. Oh, it's on phone. Yeah, I don't know. He just might, might want to check if uh, things muted, or someone tell him if he might want to check if like his Twitch, like the Twitch stream itself, is muted on this thing. Okay. Hmm. Just, just hold on to it, just in case. In your hands and tighten your grip on oh, the puppy eyes! You can't fool me. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. <laughs> we got a can hear Okay, welcome back. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. She does not believe it in the me doing it. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. How is she living? So you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. Uh, she's bluffing. 
It's a bluff. It's a bluff. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Khan, you're literally like the narrator. Just like egging me on to uh kill her. Hmm. Then I'm not talking to you. You won't talk to me unless I drop the knife. Why can't you talk to me if I stand over here and I hold the knife? Oh no, maybe I'm protected this way. Yeah, we're at we're an impasse. Oh, yes, we are. You do. For the love of everything, just slay her already. I mean, yeah, it is the name of the game, Khan. You do have a good or point. Drop the blade. Slay the princess. Do something. Hmm. You sure you don't want to talk? Yeah, I'm sure. For I'm stubborn. goodness sake, the two of you can't just stand around like this forever. Eventually, something is going to give, and I highly recommend that you be the one to take the initiative here. What, what if I literally just slay the princess? Doubt, unfortunately, Ooh. clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. Oh shit, she just... You're gonna give me a right hook? A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep oh. and thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. Dude, she just laid me out on the floor. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. God you can damn! Feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Holy She's shit, hard. that hurt! It's a hard hitter. Though she's unarmed, the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Your blade slashes through Ooh. the air again and again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone. Jesus Christ, you taught her this. We can still turn this around. All right, uh Let's finish the job. You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make the good sure of the people won't make it out of here either. Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. The two of you clash for the final time. You feel your there we go. She delivers a heavy blow. What happened to my hand? The pain, is that mine? Falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. I'm like a werewolf. The two of you fall to the floor. Oh yeah. This was fun. You said it. Princess Gas. Her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start. Your head is fucked up, bro. Blood. Nah, man. That's just the way I was born. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder. How is she so, like talking so clearly, though? Do you really think this is the end? Yeah. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. And she lives, despite the knife in her heart. Oh, there's, there's chapters. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Subverting expectations is a different You're person. You're here no. to slay her. If you don't... It will be the end but we of just the world. slayed her. Mm. Yeah, I, I died. Assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to stay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. Who the hell is corn? If he doesn't remember what happened, then corn isn't better than kale. I'm better than corn. You know I can hear you. It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. God of War and what? Blood God? What even is this? Like that meme from? I hear That's about it all fine. the time. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The Voice of the Stubborn. That matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. Is that what I am? That's I'm stubborn. The spirit. No yes, leave that post. Oh yeah, that's so. That's what this game's about. 
We're not slaying her as in killing her. We're destroying her. Okay, um... Let's go in then. A warning. Let's go Before in you go Bugs route. Her. She will lie. She will cheat. You're gonna she cheat? Will do everything Not if I do it first. To stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Lying oh. and cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. You said it, you devil sure on my that? shoulder. Oh, come on. How many voices are there? The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of Life lying of a schizophrenic in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Like a kindergartner that their mom cut their pants. You're gonna have Crystal. to show us this. Let's just get on with it already. If you didn't have a beer, if you didn't think you'd ever get anyone looking like that. Good thing you have one. Crystal. Okay. There's some there. Some push, some push. The cabin is tighter than its exterior would suggest. It's cold but stone everything's walls made to stone pressing this on time. you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. Okay. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Let's uh, look at the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much. There to is see. a mirror. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Mm-hmm. Let's do that. You reach forward and rub Am I a dragon man? The cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. This narrator? But there was a mirror a second ago. You're the hero. And now it's gone, so all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Are we a vampire? The door like to the a... basement creaks open, revealing a rough stone staircase. Its walls pressing you're literally your sides sort of and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost oh, sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally! It's been ages since I've had a good fight. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. <laughs> as much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. Bug, take a good selfie. As you descend the final she step, has a goddamn the fall of the princess comes into view. So she's a, de a, a demon, and I'm a dragon. From her wrist to the basement wall. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. She's the oh, princess of hell. Again. And I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see the death doesn't stick for either of us. And you brought your little knife too. Yes. Why is she talking? I'm going to have fun breaking He talks like a Valorant person, like a Valorant content creator. Good have fun. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah? Um. You look different. You look exactly the same. Okay. Wow. Okay. Fine. I believe you. What? What you said earlier in the woods, I believe you already met the princess and the princess has already met you that's all the more reason to take this seriously if you don't know whatever brought the two of you back to life isn't a fluke and beyond that do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time me i don't remember uh are you okay no he of course is i'm not like... okay 
As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my dementia. world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Uh, so that's what's happening. Okay, anyway. What am I? Yeah, we pretty much everything you said is true. Uh. I'm going to take that silence as a sign that from this moment on, you're going to treat the task before you with the utmost importance and seriousness. I'm so glad that we're finally all on the same page. I guess we are? Anyways, I'm here to free you. Freedom. Just kidding. You <laughs> Just want. Maybe. Let's see what happens. Don't know no, I know what. I think it likes this game. I know, right? You know the stakes of the situation. It's just the way that the princess talks. He's really there, like. Yeah. Who says I want to be free? You don't want to be free? What? I want the two of us to fight to the death. I want to feel your knife split my flesh, and I want to hear your bones snap beneath my fists. Ooh, she's freaky. Is that really too much to ask? Yeah. Kind of is, yeah. Especially that last part. You know what he said? <laughs> Don't be such a coward. I'm just being A real, like, if it comes one to person? Violence, we can find a way to deal with her that doesn't involve throwing our life away. I'd rather not die again, and I find it deeply disturbing that you seem to relish the thought of it because it doesn't matter if we die again it'll just be another opportunity to have the fight of our life chop chop just had to make it even to 40 thank you again we gotta get another 10 chop we need to get 10 thumbs up for chop chop 10 thumbs up in the air right now everybody yeah yeah bug you're a lie you don't have any ads Nando's up. Nando's, he's humpy. Okay. It's fine. We Stop. don't know that for sure, and I'd rather not bet on it. Chop, chop, you got my bird so excited you started humping things. Anyways, uh... What happens if I just I'm try to sorry. figure her? Did I hear that right? Did you just say you're going to try and free her? She uh, doesn't yeah. even want to be free. Exactly. So, so beyond do the apocalyptic moral implications she doesn't of letting want. her out, how do we even think that's going to work? I mean, we have a weapon, right? We could always just cut her out, yeah? While she's trying to kill you. Yeah, why not? Yeah, like the way this guy said that. And then what? Do you think she'll just follow you out of here? Maybe. I if don't not, know. we'll lock her out and force shot, feed her, it? and here we go. Tamed. No, it's not. Actually, Let's, do no. It. Let's see what happens. I have a responsibility to the oh, world. Oh wow! Okay. I'm not just going to let you. This is control freak over scenario, here. Where the literal best outcome is the end of everything. Until you come up with any other idea, your body remains standing rigidly in place. What do you think you're doing? Aww. You can't just order our body around like it's some sort of doll. Yeah. Watch me. Your left arm lifts towards the ceiling and your hand twists into an obscene Whoa. gesture. See? I can make you do whatever I want. Maybe you're the real villain. So what? You barely managed to lift our arm. What are you doing? What is that? Why are you moving so... weird? The princess, taken aback, flashes her own root gesture in return. That's not even the middle finger. Hey, you, decision maker. I want us to fight her as much as he wants us to kill her, but this is... boorish. Just ignore him. If you want to try and free her, I don't think there's much he can do to actually stop you. Hmm? Oh my god. <laughs> Let's do it. You know what? Fine. Blade in hand, you charge forward to try and free the it princess looks like from the bindings. Finally. I have no idea what you were just doing, but I'm glad it's over. Me too. Flash across her wrist. Her elbow comes crashing down on your skull. 
an unsettling crack echoes in your ears. That wasn't me trying to free her, though, was it? A devastating it? blow. Your body crumples to the that floor. That was me just straight up attacking her. Suddenly refusing to respond. This might be it. That's it, huh? You've gotten really soft. Everything goes dark, and you die. That didn't work at all. Really? In just one blow? Yes. Oh, come on. That's hardly fair. We're not dead. You're just... You're just flipping the table over. Mm, he's lying while he's, he's it petty. It is what it is. You're dead. Finished. Over. Uh, all right. Fine. This whole thing's a frustrating mess anyways. We're better off with a fresh start. I'll see you two next time. Probably with a new voice as well. You're on a path in the wood. If you weren't so Not damn the focused woods. on freeing her, we wouldn't have died back there. You're hey, strong, shut up. but you're bullheaded. This isn't a fight. It's a puzzle. She's strong. I knew there'd be a new one. But we can use that to our advantage. I hate puzzles. Yeah, of course you do. I've never done a puzzle myself, but anything that doesn't get us beaten to death is good in my book. What do you have in mind? Same thing as last time. Only we'll be smarter about it. We're getting her out of there. After that, we're seeing what happens. Yeah! Insane. Do you have any idea how dangerous that would be? If she gets out of here, that's it. Game over for everyone, yourself included. Are you not challenging us on all the looping? Have you known about it the whole time? Are you the same one we've been talking to since the beginning? Sorry to disappoint what I'm sure must feel like a grand revelation, but that's not what's going on here. We've never mm, met. I think it is. I think the hero's onto something. Enlighten me. I have no memory of meeting you, but you've clearly seen things you weren't supposed to have seen. You'd only be saying the things you've been saying if you'd already been here. So where does that leave us? It leaves us exactly where we started, and where I'm sure you've already been before. The princess, left unhindered, will bring about the end of the, the world. The first time we killed her, and you have same thing happened, her. man. The only way to do that is to slay her. But we didn't stop her last time. We died. Yet here we are in a world unended. A different world unended, to be sure. But there's still solid ground beneath our feet. What the hell are you going on about? Even if he isn't lying, reality clearly continues to be real. So I want to see what happens when she leaves. I think we all need to see the truth. Yeah. We absolutely do not need to see that. I've already told you the truth, and the only thing to see after she leaves is the end of everything. It's not worth it. Screw it. I'm sick of this smug asshole telling us what to do. If you need help busting her out of there, I'm your man. Yeah. Welcome aboard. And if things go bad once we get her out of the cabin, well, at least you'll be able to get the fight you wanted. The rest of you had better keep like, those two. Pretty good game plan. Head. They're far along the edge of a dangerous path. Don't let them go any further. Okay, um... Yeah, this is not the woods. Cave. It isn't long before you find yourself at the end of the path, staring up the hill at the cabin. I hope you've given serious thought to your predicament. No last advice for us? No words of warning? From what I gather, you've heard it all before. There's no use screaming into the wind. I don't know. Screaming sounds pretty good right about now. I could use a little catharsis. There'll be time for that later. For now, you know what you have to do. In we go. The interior of the cabin Nothing is really tight. More of a glorified tunnel than a building. Its stone walls squeeze against your sides, leaving you no choice but to press forward. The only furniture of note is an iron altar jutting out from the wall, a pristine oh, blade that, yeah. perched on its edge. The blade is your implement, 
You'll need it if you're going to do this right. But there's nowhere to go in here. This is just a hallway with a mirror at the end of it. And the narrator moves it. But there isn't a mirror here. There's the iron altar, the blade sitting on the altar, and the door to the basement. Why Does won't you let really me see, see myself? Or maybe what we see as a mirror, he sees as a door. It is a door. Uh, and before you ask, no, it's not a mirror-shaped door. The object at the end of this room is both door-shaped and a door. There shouldn't be any room for misinterpretation. Who cares what it is? It's in our way. We should smash it. Take it. Let's look at the mirror. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it, as if you don't see it. You're rather committed to the bit, aren't you? The door's right there. It's right in front of you. This really is just like last time. Can you really not see the mirror? Or is pretending it doesn't exist another one of your rules? There isn't a mirror. Is it a rule to say that there isn't a mirror when there's clearly one right there? Because if it is, it's not a very good one. I'm inclined to agree, but we don't know how things work here, do we? Just smash it already. I want to see myself. You reach forward and drag Come your on. hand across the door leading to the basement. As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the floor as it reveals the dim path ahead. It was in our way, and now it's not. That's all that matters. Well, there it Before goes. You yeah, we don't have the knife. Look, look at our arms. Oh, there are enough here? footholds that you'll be able to clamber your way to the bottom, but it will require careful effort. The air hissing up from below is warm and wet, like the breath of an enemy locked in close quarters. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice, so you've said. bold and fierce and impatient, echoes from the chamber below. Do you have more fight in you than last time? That was such a disappointing show. I know you can do better than that. She has a change normal person, as much as she did the time before. She still wants a fight, which means we still know her. We can use that to our advantage. to go but down. You start the difficult journey, gripping the stone, lowering yourself foot by grueling foot. Did we use our claws, soon, maybe? There is solid ground beneath you. We best remember She's throwing some haymakers up. down there. The last thing we want is to be stuck between a wall and a raging devil. You turn to face what lies at the end of the narrow yeah, tunnel. Yeah, she's slowly turning the princess, into princess, imposing demon. and tightly muscled, grins back at you from the darkness. Her face droops. There you are. But this time you don't even have that little knife. Do you think this is a joke? Oh, I don't need a knife to Do kill you. Do you need me to break those fragile bones again to remind you how serious this is? Good. You don't even have to go to her. She's doing it all herself. Let her break those chains and then run for the basement. She'll chase us without a second thought. You know what? Uh, I should have tried to intervene earlier because I can't let you do that. I won't tough shit. We're the ones in control here. Ooh. It's not the... <sighs> Ooh. Yeah, doesn't Out feel nice to be yanked around against your will, does it? Bloody desire in her eyes. Oh, really... The princess Whoa. rushes okay. forward, ignoring her chains as they bend and snap. She's lost it. Okay, she's taking the bait. Now let's get out of here. Without hesitation, so you quickly. turn back the way you came and scramble up the ledge towards the tunnel entrance. As you near the top, Jesus. And desperately clawing at the jagged impact. stone, you glance back. The princess is right on your heels. She doesn't bother to scale the wall as you do, instead digging deep into the rock of the cliff face with her fingertips in her rabbit pursuit. Anywhere you go, I will follow. We're planning on it. Did someone get her a better mic? You reach the ledge and hoist yourself up into the tunnel. The cabin door finally in sight, at once within your grasp and infinitely distant. What is all of this for? What's she the just point? My leg. You and I are always going to end in violence, so why bother to run? I know what I am. Why can't you be the same? Sure we don't want a weapon. 
don't have time. We just have to get her outside. That's what matters. You're making a mistake. Yeah, it is too late. We need to run. You continue to the door. It'd be a narrator. I swear, was this petty guy. Don't listen to him. Locks are nothing. Just barrel through. No. Your skin hums tight with adrenaline as you burst through the cabin door and roll onto the grass. Yeah, that's right. You bastard. You glance back at the cabin as the princess, singular in her desire to destroy you, explodes through the doorway. Jesus Christ, she's been hitting the gym. What is this place? Where are we? This doesn't feel right. Never been outside? It's, it's cold. Why is it so cold? It's nice I later. feel so tired. You go to sleep. Oh. Okay. She's gone. The mirror. Where did she go? Hooray. Should we try and find her? This hair? What is this? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Where's everyone else? He is. Does that mean the world ended? This guy doesn't sound like a hero. He's more like a lovable idiot. It must have. Do any of us know Howard, what the world I ending mean. is supposed to Oh wait, there he's here. Okay. The world didn't end. We're still here. Come on. We just need to keep going. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. Find her for what? Like, how are we even going to go about looking for her? even a her to find anymore. Yeah. You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. It's like it's mocking us. We have to. I'm begging you, don't do There's this. There's no other choice. It's different now. It feels, I don't know, final. We got. It. We have to look at the mirror. We have to see ourselves. Voices are gone. It's me, but can I see more than my arm? It's like, uh, yeah, the whole Streamlabs is bugged. I don't know, my computer is only get used to streaming again. The voice is quiet. It's empty. Oh. Look who it is. Something what finds me in the long quiet. And brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Got a little something on your, um, on your face. Um. Nothing as we are, what but I know that? that there are worlds beyond us and that we are meant to reach them. Did she just get enlightened? Like, what happened? There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Hmm. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. So we need more voices in our head. found, but less than there are to find. 
I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. This, she thinks she's a time god. All right. Um, much will I forget? Everything until we meet again. Unfortunate. I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Okay. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. That was sweet. Oh, I won't. Okay. I die. <laughs> what? She told me that for no reason. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the bay, you're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Yep. Okay. <sighs> what happens if I say this? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider uh, What if I want the world, wants the world actually. to end? What if I'm nobody? I mean, maybe some people do, like nihilists or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? You don't know me. Turn around and leave. Uh. I'm perfectly okay with the world ending. I relish, relish the coming of a new dawn beyond our own. There won't be a new dawn if the world ends. There'll just be nothing forever. Fine. I suppose so you, you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Yeah, bug. That happened like a while ago. Yeah, give, give a big thumb up to sh thumb up to shop shop shop. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking Whoa. about. Don't talk about that that way about Hero. That's strange. Huh. It looks like this path also it's leads control to the freak, dude. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. That's great to hear. I'll go in the cabin. As as bring that fiery attitude to princess slaying. I think this will all it's resolve kidding. splendidly. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying. Heard that one before. She's only a princess, whereas you are a valiant and talented warrior. It'll be easy so long as you stay focused. Okay, this time we'll just straight up attack her. We can't just go through with this and listen to him. She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. That is true if we are the hero. Either we straight up attack them or we just never attack her. Which one are we gonna do? The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You heard that before? Uh, let's just go in the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice. Hello? Is someone there? Mm, this sounds softer. Hypnotizing. It's the kind it's of really voice not. you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. You are? It's been so long since Just anyone's come down here. I, I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. 
there's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? Notice again how the chain's broken off in the other you arm. To stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Did someone just do that? Uh, of course, not killing. Okay. I forgot that it was even a uh, thing you could do. Yeah, let's talk a little bit first. Hmm, okay. Uh, what have you been eating and drinking? Because I've been wondering. I don't see what that has to do with anything. Uh, why don't you answer the question? This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but... I agree with the princess. Are you serious? That's hardly relevant. But how has she been living? Uh yeah, what has she been eating? Hmm. Uh, I want to ask about why she's locked. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. What is the reason? I don't actually know what that reason is, but you don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being mm, nice some save. sort of an explanation, right? Nice save. You have all the explanation you need. You should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. What are you going to do if I let you out? Hesitates before responding. Interesting. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. I blame Taiki on Froggy, not me. What she'd do. Even She's though I gave her the means to do it. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. Are you looking for the truth, or are you looking for the right answer? Because with the dynamic we have going on here, I don't think the specifics of what I do really matter. Uh. It's not like you'd believe me. Just tell me what, what you do. Tell me the answer. That's the truth. Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. I don't mm. remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. That's... How long has she been locked away? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? Uh... Appreciate the vote of confidence. Yeah, no problem, man. They haven't shared a thing, have they? All they've done is point a finger. All right, she saw right through it. At the end of the day, <laughs> trust. Hey, shut up. Not, not the princess. You, Tachyon. Uh, don't trust. Yeah, exactly. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. No, I don't trust, trust that. And I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. Narrator, you wanna... She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here, or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. This is my life we're talking about. Uh... Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? Uh -oh. We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here. And it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about trust. Honestly, I would believe this that is this is that the narrators we stand to played for both teams here. All for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less.
Und dann kommt das so, okay, ja. Okay, let's ask your name. Oh. Don't remember. She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Not is sharing your princess, name? princess her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named Princess Princess? Is Princess your name? Like I said, you can call me Princess if you'd like. I need it. Her I'm name's sorry, like... I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name though. Everyone has a name. Uh, okay, that's weird. Yeah. She hadn't even thought to begin. But then again, the herself. entity that Hopefully we totally forgot to about. That she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. I kind of want to see what happens if I like get her out. Okay, let's see. Rather than keep her lock away. Wait, what is that? What's happening? What is this? Uh, I can get to know you know I decided to do that. Just like. I'm gonna get you out of here. Don't make me regret it. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you, and, and you won't. I promise. You're Let's making see. a huge mistake. Let's find out. No, Let's see, narrator. You're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. Yeah, They're large that's cool. and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. How about we just cut off that arm? You won't be needing it. I'm guessing right? you don't have the key? No. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here hey, jinx. Her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabinet. Hmm. If there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? Maybe there's some way to break the chains? I'm so hopeful. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. See, brother. She offers the suggestion with, with that. almost complete nonchalance. That's what I was If thinking. we were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. Possibly. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Great. Uh, remember what the guy said before. We can just break Someone through it. Else here. You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. Let's go back down. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed well, to. Easier sorry. for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Yeah. There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. So you are very strong. She barely oh. hesitates before raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. Wow. As she rips her flesh her from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. The knife? It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. What would happen? <sighs> Let's save her. Fine. Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the ragged, self inflicted wound stupid on the face. arm just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. Well, this is a quick and easy. into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and it takes it little just pulled the thing right the off. bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground, and the heavy chains follow suit. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No, she didn't. She smiles softly as her gaze meets oh. yours, blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. Thank you. 
Now let's get out of here. Strange girl. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. Hey, 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 hey. You can't Let me see what happens. escape into the world. No, I can't just let her escape into the world. Slay the narrator. As the princess approaches hey. the bottom stair, your body steps forward hey. and raises you the You can't do that. Wait, oh. this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Yeah, we're gonna narrate her. You're the narrator, not the watch me. The writer. What are you doing? No, nothing. Uh, I have to warn her, I guess. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do this, right? I try not to. Oh, okay. The blade Shit. held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. I want to know what happened, narrator. Stop You're it. Stop you keep trying to resist me. messing. I'm trying to get you out of here alive. You're messing everything up. Resist. The blade. Move the blade. No. As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. She could use that little bone as a shiv. We both know this isn't you. You just, you just met me. What do you mean this isn't me? She nervously reaches oh, okay. towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? Honestly, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'll try oh, to be quick. Oh, shit. She's going to kill me. She plunges it into oh, your wait, chest, what? tearing oh, yeah. through flesh and sinew. It is you aren't dead yet. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again. And you feel you every her. inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently not, though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. <laughs> I'm so sorry! With one last thrust of the knife, your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's Shit, rich my pants. coming from you. Bug. As much as the I pussy slayed me. Things to have gone differently, the... I can't <laughs> deny the reality of what's happened. It was too strong. You made your choice. It's over. Everything goes dark. I died. <laughs> yeah, oops indeed. The dams You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that new. path... It was too good at Slade you, yeah. And it was bleeding out on the floor cabin, at the end there. Is a princess. You're here this to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay. I'm wise to your tricks. Oh, you bastard, you're in for it now. I'm My wise to your tricks. What on earth are you talking about? We just met for the first time. Mm, no. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, yeah, he didn't maybe. approve of us last time, did he? If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have <laughs> I to like be this guy. about it. I like this guy. Our beloved. Look, I know that's you. No chicken sandwich. No. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know yes. that we and the princess are in love, and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. Uh -huh. We'll see about that. Whatever you do, just be sure to... That guy's abdicate right there. Specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. Oh, buddy, no. Guess me some Twitch gift subs. I mean, like, you know. 
but alas, I'm no princess. Okay, anyways, um, Cisco. No time to dilly dally. Oh, before you go any further, she will what? lie. She will. We Heard already it. told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. Mm. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. I like the sound of the smitten's voice. I do, but I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Thanks for keeping me straight, narrator. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant, its mm. stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries, a prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only furniture of note is an ornate it's than having table the stone walls. with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I want to look at the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the well, Thank you for coming by, Bug. It's I'll all be good luck tomorrow. Isn't much to see it is. There is a mirror there. What are you there. talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. It's definitely a mirror. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. He changed I hope it. You know how ridiculous you look right now. But there was a mirror a second ago. Until the narrator removed it. Now it's it. gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place, and now we'll never know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. That's what I'm saying. We have to do our hair. Okay, this is going to the basement. The knife usually just, you know, runs down the, the stairs anyway. The basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight. Yeah, considering how nice it is, you definitely could not say that it would be doing her a favor to kill her. But it's still a stone basement. Oh, okay. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. I spoke too soon. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? Her voice, it's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I can hear wedding bells already. I've held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Yes, definitely. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. The you walk the game, down the stairs and the lock eyes with the princess. Oh, look at this, she's in a good gown. Her wrist, binding her to the far wall. She didn't turn into a demon this time. So the less we try to kill her, the less a demon she becomes. More like a princess. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. Oh, shut up. You know she Sky. can't hear you, right? Thankfully. She may not be able to hear my words, but surely... She can hear my spirit. I hope not. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so oh, worried you'd oh, come okay. back. Do you hear that? After you, uh, she said killed we're me. dashing, and she called us a hero. Ooh, and everyone's goes a getting long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here I before. I figured it out. That's right, villain. And you killed us. Yeah, villain. Well, she killed us. Okay, hero, you're messing- you're not she supposed to tell him that. us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. We damned a whole world, but everything reset. 
Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. And you can't keep hopping between worlds forever. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. Horrible for mm. you, maybe. But we've been given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. Yeah! Sorry, I was making a presentation about Frank Zappa for my music class at school. Yeah! You got some, some thumbs up for Gumbo Bob. Welcome back. The Kaleido's head streams are back, you know. Uh, you finish your presentation then? Anyways, uh, to catch you up, uh, Princess here, we killed her once. She killed us, like, twice. Then she turned into some sort of a time being. Oh no, and then a time being, like, possessed her and took her and then told us to gather voices in her head. Because we have schizophrenia. Okay, now you're gonna go finish it. Okay. I'm good, good, uh, Jim Bob. Jim Bob, Gumbo. That's just like a jacked version of Gumbo. Okay. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? We never saw a world end. And now I'm even more certain that we must chase yeah, our Yeah, because the narrator keeps not letting us see what happens. Destiny than I've ever been. I shan't we also happened the last time that we got her outside. Are you listening to him? We need more of that. Lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. <laughs> what happened after I died? You died. And now we're talking. Oh. Okay. What the fuck do you mean by that? What happened after, like, how'd you get back in the... Yeah, everything got, like, everything got nicer when you don't try to kill her. Things get worse in caves and caverns. She turns into a demon in, like, a loincloth. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you this. I got possessed by some guy. If another version of me fault. was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. Oh, be quiet, man. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. She took that in stride, to a surprising extent, an almost unsettling extent, actually. Yes, she is rather strange and unsettling. That's because she's perfect. Okay. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do. She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think oh, really? he's right. What are we I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like him, always trying to drive her to violence. She does sound very happy. She sounds like an anime-like character. Okay, uh... After, before we started talking, did the world end? Did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? No. I don't think so. Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. Not, not really. Uh, no, no, no. Then I didn't end, end the world. Okay, wait, what? See, she didn't confess anything. She is, um, not so sure. Yeah, she, she was just telling us whatever we wanted to hear. Okay, whatever, let me just Risk go. Her. What are you talking about? Did you forget that she's a world-ending monstrosity? And even if you wanted to I want her to know world, what happens. Besides, I look be, like a monster myself. You'd have to get her out of those chains. Good luck with you know that. the racism I have to deal with every day? Don't you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her out with ease. All right, guys, no, got she's lube. A prisoner here. You can't just oil slip her up her and slip her through the, the chains. chains. If her hand could just slip out of the chains, why hasn't she done it already? Because she doesn't have the lube. Because we've yet to present her. With her freedom. The freedom is just, he's using it as like a, a different word for lube. I'm not he's sure. Refer, he's referring to the lube that's in our pocket. Would you rather believe me, a passionate heart guided by love and my own good nature? Or would you rather believe the devil on your shoulder who tells you what you can and cannot do? That's not a very fair way of putting it. I think I'd rather believe in facts. Yeah. Ah, so you're one of those 
empiricists. What are you? One of us has to be. Then let me show you a brand new truth. Narrator, we courageously step forward and free our beloved from her bindings. No, I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? That's... that's a classic. I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. My passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. He wouldn't. Oh, he I would. would. He, is a, he is such a sin. You would. know he would. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> oh, well, really? That actually worked. Gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. It worked because we had to loot. We're doomed. I told you, there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Oh, shut up, that was a one time. So that was a fluke. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. I know, right? If only you had Women. a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. This guy have like a blade fetish? Luckily for Mr. Pristine? Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? What do we do now? Uh-oh. What do we want to do? What do you want to do? Uh, we leave and then we have our whole lives to figure out what we want to do next. That's, um... The princess takes your I hand, get to see the last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. Yay! We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love-blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hey. hand in hand. Ugh, look at the way she's smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. I mean, she was and freed. What happens after we walk up the stairs? This, this guy's gonna try to kill us. Let's see. Oh. oh, isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. Narrator, let us out. That's a familiar move. Did it I is. do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be oh, able so to you, move. So you did it! It's a confession right there from you. Oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not right, fair! We're through. supposed to leave now. Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her! Oh man, I, you skipped me by accident. Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you will ever know. Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm just along for the ride at this point. Uh, okay. I think I've got this. Open the door by yourself. Okay. Yeah, you've got this. Thanks for the <laughs> support. You place your hand on the door. And... Open it. The lock clicks. Yeah! <laughs> open are you kidding me power of faith ha i knew it your words are no match for the pure strength of our hearts bound together as one you and the princess make your way upstairs and the blade There's that's the right blade. there's still a chance for you to do the right thing take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late why you're not you're doing that that's the way out we're going to leave together, just like you wanted. Ray. Yes, I then you're you going to get implode, that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin. And? And then you step outside. Oh wow, that actually worked. A happy ending at last. She not die, or implode? We oh, here it. it comes. What should we do now? Uh, I will watch you get abducted. Where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, was he is gone? We needed. I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. 
There's hair over the world again. I'm cold. Is being happy oh, it's supposed to again. be so cold? Oh no, Gumbo's getting frisky. Gumbo's about to come in and grab her. Cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. Are we a bird, bird dragon thing? Oh, there's Gumbo! No! Gumbo, let go of her! Gumbo, no! Bring her back, Gumbo! No! Gumbo! But you don't get the chance to make that jacket. Nor will you ever. Time for you to leave. Memory returns. She's gone. W where did she go? Should we try and find her? Bust number works, huh? Okay. Let's... But it feels so okay. bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Oh yeah, I'll look at your presentation. Yes. I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That can't hurt. What do you mean right? preen? What? We're, we're not a bird? I don't get it. Okay, whatever. Let's just... Okay. I'll see you on the other side. If you say so, we'll trust you. Thank you. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. In a way. You can see why I love this man so much. Alright, Gumbo. I'll be expecting you to present it to me yourself. Approach the mirror. And gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward, they're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Can I see more of myself? You've grown. Maybe the end of the world is if the princess doesn't kill me. Here we are again. There she is. There's Gumbo holding her down. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Okay. I only got one more voice this time. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is soft and delicate. You molded her to love you. Oh, that, make that makes me sound like a groomer. Her. Not a groomer. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. So I have one that was a like I made a devil muscular princess, and then I made a soft, delicate one. What are you going to do when this is done? You bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. And what I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself and to know you. To know me, why? You're gonna go wash your okay have fun. Um, what do you feel about me? Those vessels I've been bringing you, I've heard them. The vessels are a weave of emotion at odds with themselves, but they are only perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. Okay.
Send me back. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Just quick. How come the first time she asked for me to remember her, and then You're the second time she didn't? In the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyways, we've a revolution. The spirit. Yeah. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. I think we'll do one more before ending off for the night. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. Nothing but the blade. You take Let's the blade from that. the table. It Let's get in there. The door to the basement. Yep, it's doing her a favor. Anyway. Don't Bye. be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Interesting. Not very soft. No, no, uh. What? No way. Why would you even think that? That giant knife you're holding kind of gives it away, doesn't it? Hmm. The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? We should drop it. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Alright. Let's tighten our grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You Don't talk about how I'm... Oh, shut up. You're you step forward. Your grip on I'm probably I shouldn't be scared of you. For a reason, so you should just She's unarmed. All right. Just there. Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your. A moment of distraction okay. and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic. It feels like you've been. Get out of here! Are Run you away! Serious? It's a good idea. We've taken some bad hits, but we've dealt some too. She has to be feeling it more than we are. Let's regroup upstairs. If we're lucky, maybe she'll just bleed out. Yeah, exactly. Fine. You make a mad dash to the basement stairs. The princess's chains rattling as she tries to chase you, but pulling taut much too soon for her to catch up. <laughs> Do you really think you can just walk out of here? Yeah. She steps towards you, ignoring her chains. Oh, God. They creak and strain as she pulls against them until finally they break. The links clatter to the floor, useless. She's free. Oh Hurry. God. You push your broken body as she closes in and just barely manage to pass the threshold of the basement doorway before she catches up to you. You close the basement door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay. We can make this work. She has an awful wound, and we have all the time in the world. Playing jailkeeper for a while might make things a little easier. Hopefully. You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. But sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. I know you're still there. I hope Whoa. you make things easier on yourself and let me out. It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Huh? It's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. She sounds terrifying. Like she's less of the princess you saw and more like something out of a nightmare. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by piece. I won't forget what you did, and I'll never forgive it. You won't know the kind of enemy you've made to Oh, God. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. Whatever you are, you're not a princess. Go ahead and waste your energy. I'll be waiting for you. I wouldn't be so sure about outlasting me. You're so... 
Wow, okay. Do whatever you think will help you be prepared. But know that I'm coming for you. And that when I find you, I will make you hurt. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. You jolt awake in the middle of the night to silence in the cabin. The ruckus has stopped, and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken. And the table shoved out of the way. So she didn't kill me in my sleep, but you want a fair Where fight? Is she? Thanks for helping oh me get my out god. Awful basement. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply Narrator, stops stop working. that. It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. Whose side uh -oh. are you on? That's what I'm Yours, thinking. Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. So you said in the, the past that the situation doesn't change them. But you so can change them. Helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She steps closer. One silent foot at a time, cocking her head in curiosity as you feel your organs shutting down one by one. Why are my organs shutting down now? Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. What a shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such wonderful things. Sabber. Your lungs stop drawing Sab. in breath. And your heart freezes in your chest. You have seconds left. I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end. Actually, not for, not for me. It can't be. This can't actually be how everything ends. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. The nightmare. Oh God. You're on a path in the woods. You're here to slay her. Okay. A warning. She will lie. Yeah, she lied and cheat. and cheating is a thing. She was very direct with us last time. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. A new voice. The interior of the cabin Whoa. is plain, the smooth Same wood of the time. walls almost featureless. The only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hold on. What happened to the door? It's just an empty frame. She's already got now, hasn't she? And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. There are people in the windows. You see that? One, two, three. And one right there. Look the Muppets. Okay. Please. You walk up to the wall next to the empty basement door frame. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. There's still a mirror. What are you Your talking about? Yeah. This is Specifically you. They're here for you, Frog. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we walk. And every single time we try, here it goes. Rub your hand against the cat. Did he make it go away? Clearly there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. You reach this. down and pick the blade up off the good. Steel can't lie to us. That's what the uh, blacksmith Hugh says to us in Elden Ring. Is it gonna be enough though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, better than a knife? Could we have a bomb? That would the be nice. The blade nicer. is the only thing you need to finish your task. <laughs> You're more than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. These are the Twitch viewers. 
I have four viewers and there are four people in the windows. Those are the words of someone who knows for each of you. he's sending us to our death. Let's go in there. You cross over the threshold and onto a people. series of isolated steps suspended in darkness. More eyes, too. You never mention the eyes. Yeah. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the them. stairs. Yeah, they gotta stay moist, you know? I didn't think you'd come back. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. Come back? She must have you confused with someone else. You really don't remember, do you? It doesn't matter. We need a game plan. We know we can't just go down there unprepared. Okay. Hmm. Oh, how does it throw a knife? It can't be that hard. But then we'd lose our weapon. We'd have to make it count. Otherwise, she'd be furious and we'd be defenseless. If a knife is even enough to do anything against something like her in the first place, it'll be enough. Okay, narrator. Uh, we don't need to plan. I'm just gonna kill her. Step into the void. Uh, seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you are being such a pessimist Finally, right now. a voice of reason. The rest of you That's should take notes. Me. You know why I'm being a pessimist. I'm just asking questions. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks suspended in nothingness. A smattering of cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left I'll go with right. the eyes, though. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place is? No, I'm not. We're going to die down here. I don't want to die again. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go, I'm going to fly. Did you hear the voices in my head? Oh, very. Yeah, let's go right. You turn to the right. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you are. Oh my god. I told you I was Why do you look like a you? balding baby? As the princess approaches, oh, okay. your legs suddenly go numb. So they look your look arms mostly. quickly fall up. This is it, isn't uh, it? Same thing as before. Brought your little knife with you again. Cute. There has to be a way out of this. Think. Think. What does this do? Oh. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder oh. how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. As your blood oh begins God. to coagulate, it's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. I don't know what this guy's going on about. Your lungs pull in a desperate Ooh. gulp of air as your He's eyes us. shoot back open. Yeah, voice at the paranoid. What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function, or do you want? And then experience stops once more. Oh, do it again! Do it again! Your body reapproaches death. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it again. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want, or do you want to interrupt me some more? Come on, do it again, do it again. Seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart. Yeah. Lungs. Liver. Liver. Nerves. Nerves. Again, your eyes yeah. shoot open as you gasp for breath. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Lungs. Oh, well. Standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than dead. Even if you look ridiculous. Liver. She isn't attacking us. Heart. Why? The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Don't lose sight of your mission. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. 
Okay, let's get out of here and leave together. Why won't you finish me off? Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. The princess leans forward, bringing her mask lips close to your ear. If I want to see you go, all I need to do is break your concentration. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart. She slowly runs her velvet glove across the base of your neck. Hey. Oh, it feels God. like static. And then... She, she, make her stop. Hey, Could just snap out of it. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath, we're fine. Heart, lungs, liver, liver nerves. nerves. Your back, lungs, liver, nerves. One moment. Heart. And Lungs then you're gone. Nerves, Just Lungs, like liver, that. Heart, ah, Lungs, liver, and there's the fear. Lungs, liver, she pulls away. Heart, Lungs, that wouldn't be liver, very fun, nerves, now would it? Heart, Lungs, I've already done liver, that. Nerves, heart, Lungs, liver. Mm -hmm. I was sent here to stop you from destroying the world, I can't just let you leave. Destroy is such an unenlightened way of putting it. So sudden, so violent, so little nuance. I'm not going to destroy the world, but I am going to hold it in my hands and squeeze it. I'm not going to be afraid, just like I've made you afraid. The world needs fear, doesn't it? Every terror I bring would make the good times so much better. Well, I'm practically nerves, doing a public heart, good. Lungs, liver, so what harm nerves, is there really heart, in letting lungs, me out? Liver, nerves, heart, She's lungs, not even chained up liver, in this nerves, version. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves, heart, lungs, liver, nerves, People will die. Dies eventually. Nerves, They're all full of wet, writhing things. Nerves, and in the end, lungs, each liver, and every nerves, one of them gets unwound. Lungs, liver, and nerves, then those things heart, get to become lungs, a new everybody. Nerves, just to come lungs, apart liver, all nerves, over again. All I want is to be there for it. I want to watch it happen. And maybe do a little unwinding myself. Is that really so much to ask? Likely. I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let me. So I started to drag your body out with me and then... The cabin didn't let you. Well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here. And now you're here too. I don't think I can move without you. And dead doesn't count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to leave. Okay. Then let's leave. What? No! I need you to come around. Oh, this is going to be so wonderful. No, I'm not going to let this happen. I. Before you can utter another word, your body stops moving, and, uh... Do you think you could just wrest control away from mm. us? This body's barely functioning as it is. Doesn't the world end if we fail to stop her? Won't letting us die here just make it end faster? Shit. That's right. With a flick of the princess's wrist, the stairs slide back into place. I can't believe you're making me watch you damn everyone to torment and oblivion. Oh, don't worry, she'll be grabbed away. You're not wrong, but maybe you should let me handle the feedback. Just focus on keeping us alive. <laughs> Besides, I get the feeling she's telling the truth. She needs us alive. You place a shaky foot on the first step and begin your ascent from the basement. You can feel the static prickling of the princess on your neck, your limbs buzzing with pins and needles, an uncomfortable and constant reminder that you exist and that your existence is so very precarious. You're almost there. The only thing left between you and the cabin is the now shut door to the basement. 
Oh, come you on, narrator. If it had locked behind you. Don't do this again. You snaked. There wasn't even a door when we first got here. The door was from last time. I told you we shouldn't trust him. I know he's messing with us, but you can't lose your cool. We need you right now. Remember? Yes, I remember. Of course I remember. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. This is so frustrating. Heart, thank heart, you. And you? Lungs. You'd really rather us die down here than let her out? Of course I would. As much as I want you to have a happy ending, the fate of the world is a little more important if you still have a weapon. You can still make this right. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. Oh, look at that. It's locked. What a relief for the world. It'll open. You just have to give it a tug. Nerves. Heart. Okay. You pull against the door. Look at that. The lock gently clicks open in response to your effort, and the door creaks on its hinges. This isn't right. That's not even the way it's supposed to swing. It's supposed to swing out. You're not nearly as powerful as you'd have us think, are you? So she might have a narrator as well. Anyways, like he said, you're not really in control here, are you? I never said I was. If I was in control here, why would I need you to slay her? I don't know. Secret reasons? The door is open. What are you dawdling for? It's time for us to go. The world is waiting. Shit. The princess moves past you and into the cabin. This is it. This is your final moment to make things right. Kill her. I thought you wanted us to slay her. It's the same thing. Do it. Do it now. Do it now or everything is over. Okay. I kind of want to cash her in to the entity, you know? I said, what do we do? Oh, do you want to hear from me now? Yes. Well, I thought you needed me to run the autonomic nervous system. We do, but this is important. Look, I'll even do it myself. Just tell us who to trust. Uh... Brain, heart, lungs, lungs, liver, nerves. It wasn't very hard okay, to remember. Thanks, I got it. Heart, lungs. You're terrible at this. I know. I'm doing my best. Yes, it's very hard to stay focused on running things when other people are talking to you, isn't it? What are you doing? Me, running everything kind of feels like popping in and out of consciousness. It's easy to lose track of things. They were asking you for your blessing to trust me. Oh, that's right. Yeah, fuck this guy. Don't trust him. Really? So you'd have them trust her? Oh, uh, of course not. Can't trust anybody here but ourselves. But I guess that leaves us back where we started, doesn't it? I suppose if I had to make a choice... I'd pick the one that doesn't make our organs shut down. Thank you for your gracious show of support. But that's a marginal preference. We'll have to deal with him later. I'd just rather deal with him while our organs are intact. Whatever. You heard what he had to say. So whether you trust me or not, killing her is still the best, nay, the only option you have worth taking. All right, I'm done. You can let me take over again. Finally, that was awful. I really don't know how you do it. Heart. Lungs. You've been standing there staring blankly for a while now. And I have to say my patience is running a little thin. So don't think a lady wait any longer, okay? Open the door. I should have you do it. The doorknob twists in your hand. Revealing the forested path beyond the cabin. Nerves. You... Bastard. Lungs. You've actually liver. done it. Nerves. You've actually Heart. doomed everything. Lungs. Liver. It's Nerves. so beautiful. Heart. I can't Lungs. wait to ruin liver. it. Nerves. But it's Heart. so cold, too. Lungs. Yep. It's liver. itching Nerves. against my skin. Lungs. Like the hair. Liver. Nerves. Why is it so cold? Lungs. Liver. 
There she goes. Yeah. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? There's a mirror again. Okay. We've been here before and you always get scared. But it feels so going. bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. You turn in someone evaporated. You slept through the stream and you're not very good at this. Yeah, I am. I'm wonderful. It's calling us. I'm passionate in a good way. the d different lady. It's good. It's a good enough way. It's going to okay. be okay. If you say so. Who evaporated? I trust you. Oh, the girl? You yeah, know, I was trying I was trying to get that to happen. I trust you? You can trust me. Let's go. Let's go look at her reflection. You look like the Bracken from Lethal Company. I'm a dinosaur. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. A mirror always makes them leave. But you need to see what's in it. Have I grown? I've withered. Probably for my organ shutting down. The long quiet once again. I don't. Hey, hey, hey. It's pulling my fingers. Let's see. What does the entity think I of this am one? I a growing chorus of contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Hmm. Okay, anyway. What do you think of this vessel? This one is filled with sadness. A doll, abandoned to the company of her darkest impulses. She desires only companionship, but the only hmm. thing she knows Deeper is how to than she led us to believe. She will make for a tender heart. Do not mourn her. She has finally found her way home. Um... Does this make you worse to be as to hurt me, each other? But it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? It does seem small from here, and the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be. But that doesn't make any of them less special. Hmm. What happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen. I don't quite Just know what's I happening. Have seen what you have seen. Uh. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Okay. What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows, and tells me new secrets. Okay. How many more? We will know when we near our destination. Okay. Send me back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. And there I go. You're on a path. Let me save. Okay. Uh, to answer your question, by the way, about like what's happening, um, there's a narrator in my head, and usually another voice is called the voice of the hero, like voice of different emotions and things. But there's one of the different like personality traits. They have one of the paranoid, one of the smitten, one of the uh, what was the other one? The stubborn, and then one of the skeptic. And basically, in each of these things, we are supposed to stop the princess from slaying the world. We have to choose to the trust of the narrator or the princess. And then at the end, whenever we get the princess to come outside, 
based on our actions before, she'll be a different type of character. And then the entity will abduct her and absorb her <laughs> into some, like, into a whole consciousness. And we're basically, we're the only one who remembers it, and the voices in our head don't remember it. Fell asleep soon. Yeah, me too. I skipped dinner to go do the stream because I had something come in the way of what would otherwise be dinner time earlier. So I will be seeing you all later. Advocate? You said you nap way earlier than this. But anyway, um, I guess I could do maybe one more. I don't know, we'll see. Whatever I decide to stream next. I'll see you all later. Good night.